augmented reality. You can also take real-world objects and integrate them into virtual reality so that everything can interact. This is super important for unlocking future use cases like reimagining how we collaborate at work. What you're about to see is actual footage from a prototype of mixed reality shot with the Oculus Quest. So as I put my headset on, we can see the virtual world uh, overlaid on a very, very crude reconstruction of the real world behind it. And here I'm watching a video of my son and I playing with iron powder and a birthday candle for Science Saturday when I get a notification that my wife sent me some photos on Messenger. And I can go in and browse and pick out a few favorites before it's time to get back to work. The top of my to-do list is to work on my OC5 script, so I better get to it. You can see that I'm able to access my real-life keyboard and desk in front of me while enjoying the boundless space that virtual reality affords me. And then I get a notification that tells me I've got a meeting, my speech will have to wait. I make my way into a virtual room somewhere in the metaverse that allows me to work alongside my team in a persistent environment. Someday there will be people in here, lots of people, imagine it. <laughs> and here comes my colleague now. Now this is a, v yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that applause is for how cute my kids are. So I just. This is a very early concept, uh, but the ideas are starting to take shape. Being able to connect with people both physically proximate to you and physically distant at the same time has the potential to tremendously broaden our capacity to connect with other people, especially if you can 